This is Nancy with Fix This House, and uh, these are my GE uh, washer and dryer, ultra vent washer and dryer. I just got them recently, and I, I went to start a load of sheets in here. I looked down here, and I saw a string, like a yarn, a piece of yarn. Let's see if I can find it. I just saw another one. And we've had it for a few months. We've been using it pretty heavily because um, we have a few Airbnbs that we run. So there's, there's yarn here, and I saw it went into a hole. So I thought, oh no, what if that's going down into the uh, the system? And I knew that there was a vent, or not a vent, a filter that was down here. And I recently took off a little piece of tape. Like I said, we just got this uh, at Best Buy a couple months ago, and I have never. Um, looked at this vent that's down here, the vent, what are you calling it a vent? The filter that's down there. So I want to show you how you access it. Use something like a, a knife. I'm using a putty knife here. Uh, it could be anything. I have hand, hand that's flat. And then down here, this will actually come off. Right there, that's the cover. And then if you could get down real low and look at this, there's actually a little door here. Now, I just tried taking this whole thing, this whole white thing out, trying to access the filter. So it actually just pops down like that, like that, like that, easy. Then you go in here and you unscrew this. Oh dear, my husband did it, there we go. Tighten it up, see it. Go counterclockwise, lefty loosey. Try to use the left hand done with the right you might get water coming out so be prepared that's why we have this yellow tail here making it work so much better then the left and it unscrews comes out and you will see junk in here um, I think I had like a little bit of crud I still see some crud in there and uh, maybe some mildew or mold or whatever um, some build up, you see that there's a little bit of dinge on it still. You'll see that, you might see little pieces of, of lint, whatever. So you want to clean that out from time to time, according to the owner's manual, which I don't have handy right now, we have it somewhere. Screw it back in clockwise, put the lid back up like that, and then you need to put the outer cover back on. Here's the outer cover, lines up. In here, um, there's a little lip. So you want to put these two little things here into the lip, right into that section right there, right there, and lift up and push, and it snaps into place. Okay, once again, to get it out, bottom of your ultra fresh washing machine, take some kind of flat piece of knife, screwdriver, there's a little ridge right there, pop that out and then go down here. You can actually just feel for it because you can't see it from up above. That's what it looks like. So you can't see it. Pull it down. Unscrew this counterclockwise. Uh, clean it out. Put it back in. You will have water that comes out um, and you want to be prepared for that. So get ready to sop up. Maybe a couple cups of water, I'd say. And then set it on that ridge there and push it in snap it into place and that's how you clean the lower lint filter on your GE ultra fresh vent washing machine I hope that helps somebody uh, have a great day and thanks for watching